I'm running for re-election because I really, really love doing what I'm doing. Ken Miyagashima knows how to win elections. In his career, the Las Cruces mayor has been in 14 races and won 11 of them. But the municipal race on November 5th worried Miyagashima slightly because he'd never won on that day. That didn't matter. In the city's first ranked choice election, Miyagashima won a fourth term, with Bill Matisse coming in second after all nine elimination rounds. He said it reminded him of his first mayoral race against Matisse in 2007. What does it mean to you to win a fourth term? Well, you know, it's great. I, I really want uh, to win to be able to continue doing what I love doing, and that's helping the public, helping people helping the citizens and whatever issues that I might be able to do. Uh, sometimes we're not 100% successful, but if we can make their lives a little bit better, that's really what it's all about. Sometimes I feel a little bit selfish, uh, be candid with you, uh, that I've been here for a while, but uh, you know, I love it, I enjoy it, and um, you know, every day I, I, I get up and uh, just love doing what I'm doing. As for priorities, Miyagashima says he wants the city to be more active in providing mental health services and embrace opportunities to use renewable energy. Infrastructure is also on his agenda. Miyagashima says he thinks turning downtown into a tax increment development district has brought more people and businesses there. He wants to do the same for the El Paseo Corridor. Years ago, we received a $2 million grant from the federal government, so the planning is there, and if we could maybe look at doing a TID in the in the El Paseo Corridor, connecting Main Street with the university, maybe having a, a trolley going back and forth every 30 minutes or so to really kind of enhance that, uh, that area and also allow the students at New Mexico State to visit downtown and have a little bit of fun there in the downtown area. Um, the open spaces... Uh, Retiree Stephen Marcus moved to Las Cruces a year and a half ago. Marcus says he's impressed with the city's effort to revitalize downtown and develop open spaces, but he thinks it should offer more recreational programs for children. I'm noticing a lot of kids, especially in my neighborhood, look a little bored, but they're trying to uh, get out there and, and do as much as they can. Uh, the, I'm really impressed with Mearshite um, for a recreation area for, for adults and children. Um, I think it could be expanded and that would be a good thing. Also, uh, the road work, I've noticed um, that what they should be doing is doing projects, finishing a project and not putting another, you know, simultaneously doing projects. So that would, that would help a lot. I think the efforts to concentrate development and to tip the, the appeal of the downtown mall is really important for the city. Um, both economically and as a spirit of place. Joan Woodward is a retired environmental design professor from Cal Poly Pomona. Woodward says she supports enhancing parks and agrees developing El Paseo Road is vital for the city. The El, El Paseo connection is critical to make the town and gown link with NMSU. And there have been quite a few previous planning efforts to strengthen that link. Um, all of them uh, are worth reinforcing. It's really an important one. Um, and there's a second one, not mentioned in the mayor's priorities, which is looking at linking Mesilla with the university. And Department of Transportation is currently doing planning for uh, strengthening that link. That one, too, is critical. On the corner of Main Street and Las Cruces Avenue, Mary Vunderlich operates Mew & Company, a boutique selling handmade goods. Vunderlich set up shop downtown because of the location and the city's economic incentives. But after some negative experiences with people off the street, she'd like to see more police officers in the area. I know it has been brought to their attention, so I'm hoping that that presence stays because we've seen a big improvement in that. Um, you know, if people are coming into downtown, they can do all this work and revitalization and make it beautiful, but if people don't feel safe in downtown, whether it's founded or not, they won't come. They won't stay and they won't be here in the evening either because they, they won't be comfortable. So I guess that's my big thing is just making sure that the downtown stays really safe and people feel that it's really safe. In addition to downtown, Miyagashima also has his eye on the East Mesa. He says he's excited to develop about 100 acres of city-owned land across from Mountain View Regional Medical Center. He says renting the commercial real estate would generate hundreds of thousands of dollars in annual revenue to fund city activities. The city council welcomes two new members in 2020. Tessa Abeda-Stuvi and Joanna Bencomo won their respective races in districts 2 and 4. 
Miyagoshima, who comes from Japanese and Mexican descent, says the level of diversity and youth on the council is key to getting different perspectives. Pretty incredible. Um, you know, four women, uh, that's going to be the majority there. And, um, you know, and then, of course, with uh, Councillor Vasquez and, and, Count, and Mayor Pro Tem Sorg and myself, uh, I think we're going to have a great team as usual. It's almost like a basketball coach. I think the team's going to be great. They're going to bring a lot of, of ideas, a lot of energy. You know, these are highly educated, motivated women, and they're looking forward to the many great things that, uh, that they wish to accomplish there on the city council. For KRWG Public Media, I'm Michael Hernandez.